Selma hires a new fire chief, Marion Bank and Trust changes its name, and HBCU Pigskins Showdown announces it will return in 2022. That and more in this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight, shining the light on Selma and Dallas County. I'm Cindy Fisher, publisher of the Selma Sun. And I'm Todd Prater, staff writer for the Selma Sun. Here's this week's top stories. Selma has a new fire chief. The city this month hired veteran firefighter Willie Mason Jr. to lead their fire department. Mason says firefighting chose him as a career. When he was a young student in 2002, he saw a poster for being a firefighter at the unemployment office that prompted him to do some research and fill out an application. He went to fire college and joined Selma's fire department in 2002 and since then has risen the ranks from being a firefighter to serving as a sergeant and a captain, training officer and assistant fire marshal, all of that before becoming chief. Mason says his short-term goal is to make sure the city maintains its ISO rating of two, which is the second highest rating possible. His long-term goal is bringing the department to full staffing. That ISO rating is extremely important in keeping insurance rates low as possible for businesses as well as yes. residents. So that'll be a good so thing. Hopefully to he can do that. Yeah. Marion Bank and Trust has a new name, Marion Community Bank. That'll soon be reflected with new signage on their branches in Marion and in Selma. The reason for the change is to reflect growth and change in the company as a whole. President and CEO Guy Davis says that there's new leadership and growth into new markets, but their headquarters will remain in Marion. The company now has six branches, including Selma's branch on Highland Avenue and new offices in Jemison, Maplesville, Clanton, and even Montgomery that have all been added since 2016. Now they have 55 employees too. The bank recently added Selma businessman James Patterson, who's owner of Dallas Heat and Air, to the board to increase Dallas County's representation. And they've been connecting with Donald Bennett, who's president of Mainstream Marion, to help that organization get grants to help improve Marion. And that's great, too. It's, it's Helping the community. That's and awesome. staying yeah. here. And staying here at home. That's great. Right. Organizers for the HBCU Pigskin Showdown that brought thousands to Selma and Marion in December have announced that they will return in 2022. The showdown was created to showcase standout draft eligible football players from historically black colleges and universities to NFL scouts and increase their shot at making the pros. The first showdown put 84 all-star football players in front of about 20 NFL scouts for four days. Events surrounding the games were held in Marion and in Selma, including a unity march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge that was the Saturday before the Sunday game. The big game was held at Marion Military Institute Stadium on December 19th. Wasn't that game originally scheduled to be played in Memorial Stadium here in Selma? So it was, mm -hmm. but the storm damage that has oh, remained right. at, at Memorial Stadium had not been fixed yet, so right. they put it in Marion. And, and Marion is still a great place to do something. It's got the civil rights um, very, link. Yeah, that's right, very historical connection. You're yeah, right. and it was a great economic driver and tourism for all of, for all of us. Right. And uh, matter of fact, um, this year they made some changes or, or is it going to be just like 2022 yeah I mean, so just it's, like 2021 or yeah is it? it is going to be different so they're going to have some things the same but the the changes that are going to be making it better one of them is as uh, moving the game to saturday oh, from okay. sunday um which i think will help and they plan to make it more interactive and they've got plans for a halftime performance by mm. an hbcu band oh, fun. and pre-game tailgating all right fan interaction <laughs> during timeouts and a post-game battle of the high school band That'll be fun which too. will be so exciting that's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be it a fun will week. and it'll really attract uh, more tourists yeah and more tourists good for the area fo folks coming in that's right and spending their money and as far as uh, another huge event that's coming up in our area, it's uh, the schedule for the annual Bridge Crossing Jubilee is set. Festivities start March 3rd and run through March 6th. That's just right around the corner. That's There's right. over 30 events. This year's theme is Return to the Bridge, Fight for the Vote. Organizer Road Sanders says that there's going to be a health village where people can get vaccinated and get tested for anything from HIV to high blood pressure. And she says the concert Saturday is totally free. And this year, there's going to be a traditional march that commemorates the Bloody Sunday March. Not all the way across the bridge. Have it 
But then there's going to be an actual long Selma to Montgomery march. Oh, wow. It's going to be just like the real thing. Uh, the whole schedule is actually available right now at SelmaSun.com. Yes. Share your company has to offer during the Selma Sun Spotlight, a weekly newscast that earns 20,000 views a month on the Selma Sun social media platforms. Insights show viewership is heavy in the Selma Dallas County community and stretches across the country for those watching who love Selma from afar. Become a presenting sponsor, industry sponsor, contributing sponsor, or a segment sponsor. Contact publisher Cindy Fisher at area code 205-789-0973. Ending on a sunny note, uh, two former inmates of the Dallas County Jail hosted a community donation under their new roles as community leaders to give needed items to current inmates, and they did that on President's Day. Lift Ministries founder Latangelia Williams and Snow Cleaning Service owner LaMarcus Snow brought to the jail 200 bars of soap, 10 cases of hand sanitizer, bras, socks, medical cups, latex gloves, and many, many more items that were collected from community leaders and organizations for a big, huge day of giving out at the jail. Pastor John Grayson donated yeah. all those hand sanitizer cases too. Local Walmart staff actually donated a DVD player and a new flat screen mm -hmm. TV as part of this. That's right. Uh, and popcorn. Mm -hmm. And these were all ideas that, that LaMarcus Snow had mm -hmm. to provide inmates with uh, a movie night for good behavior. A little incentive. It's a very good incentive. That's a good idea. And you know, that TV popcorn. can also be used for uh, seminars and educational programming that uh, uh, helps the rehabilitation of the inmates so that once they're released from jail, they can become good citizens. And uh, Sheriff Mike Grantham said this is great because right now with COVID, they can't let people into the jail to do those things. Well, right, they can't even let, the pa let pastors Not in. So all. this no. is a great way for them to message and, and, and speak to the inmates right. and help them out. And help the community as a whole. And help the community. Well, thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight. Read these stories and more at selmasun.com and follow and subscribe to us at our YouTube channel and on Facebook and Instagram. See you next week. See you next week.